Did you know you can make non-linear presentations in PowerPoint? Shocking, right? But it's true. Prezi isn't the only software that allows you to do this. Here, let me show you a quick example. Let's say you had a presentation about climate change and you wanted the audience to choose the topic they're most interested in. You wanted this to be a little more interactive and non-linear. Well, in PowerPoint, you can create this clickable table of content. So let's say that they are really interested in coral reefs. You just grab your mouse, you click the coral reef, thumbnail and then you can go through the coral reef information and when you're done you go back to the clickable table of contents now let's say they want to learn about sharks you click sharks then you talk about sharks okay and when you're done again you go back to this clickable table of contents now you can click on the glaciers thumbnail and talk about glaciers how cool is that so this is a really neat feature in PowerPoint that will help you make more engaging presentations. And I'm going to show you how to make one in this video. It actually only takes a couple of minutes and it's really easy. So stay tuned. I hope you're excited because in this video, you're going to learn how to make a non-linear presentation in PowerPoint. Now, non-linear presentations, in my opinion, have a lot of potential for making your presentations really engaging. And I really think that you should give it a try, especially because it's really easy to set up. It takes only a few minutes. So why not try it? And make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to share with you a real life example of how I use non-linear presentations in my training training workshops. Now, just in case you are new to my channel, I help academic scientists, researchers, evaluators, and similar professionals create better presentations. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified because I make videos every single week. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do for your nonlinear presentation is add sections in your PowerPoint file and make sure the first slide in that section is something that's highly engaging, highly visual, and makes it clear what that section is going to be. Okay, let me show you how to do that just in case you don't know and you've never added sections before. You go to the first slide, you right click it, you click add section, and then you name it. So in this case, I'm of course going to name it sharks. <laughs> and then you just just repeat that over and over again. You go to the first slide of the section, right click, add section, rename it. And so I'm going to do that again one more time for glaciers, rename that to glaciers, and then great. So that's pretty much done. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that to the section after that. So if I want to have a linear presentation after my non-linear part, you know, so I have a hybrid, then that's kind of how you do it. So that's it. That's the setup for a non-linear presentation. Do you see how easy that is? Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is actually add the clickable table of contents and you do that in the zoom section in PowerPoint. So let me show you how to do that just in case you don't know. Okay. So you go, you create sort of a special slide, a blank slide before everything, and then you go to insert and then you click on zoom and you're going to click section zoom and then you choose the thumbnails for the sections that you want in your clickable table of contents. And so there they are as nice images. It's exactly what you have, you know, on the actual slide. You can rearrange them, put them in whatever order that you want. And now I'll just test it out. I clicked on one and it takes me to that section. And then when I'm done with that section, it takes me back to the clickable table of contents. So again, super easy. Prezi is not the only software that lets you have a nonlinear presentation. And PowerPoint makes it really easy to set up, which is really important. Now you probably noticed that annoying zoom transition. So we're going to have to disable that because people don't like that kind of thing. So here is how to disable that. Okay. So we're back in PowerPoint and all you have to do is click on one of the thumbnails, go up to the zoom tab, and you're going to uncheck zoom transition. Okay. And you have to do that one at a time. I don't think you can click all three and just do it once. So, not ideal, but it's still really fast and easy. And then now it's just a regular um, transition. No nauseating zoom effect. So that's it. That's all you have to do to create a non-linear presentation in PowerPoint. It is not too good to be true. That's all you have to do. 
nice rhyme <laughs> okay moving on so yeah you can totally do this okay and hit that like button if you feel like that is something you can do and also comment below I really want to hear from you you know what examples can you think of where you could use this in your own presentation let's let's inspire each other let's give each other ideas for how we can use this because I really do see a lot of potential for making presentations more engaging if this feature is used so yeah comment below below. And just as a side note, this is another example of why I recommend you do not use Prezi or even any of the other big slide softwares for that matter. So if you didn't see my last video, make sure you check it out because I compare the differences between Prezi, Canva, Keynote, Google Slides, and PowerPoint. And I have another video about three other features in PowerPoint that are just as fantastic and just as easy if not easier to do. So I'll put those links in the description below. Now I promised I would show you a real life example of how I use non-linear uh, presentation elements in my presentation workshop. So just as a little bit of background, this is for my presenting with data, data visualization workshop. And in the first part, I will provide a, an overview of a universal process to design any data. And that's linear. I do go in order for that. And I'm providing some examples of great, you know, examples of data viz along the way. And again, that's linear. But then, but then when we're done with that, I bring my audience, my participants to this slide. It's a clickable table of contents with about five to six different types of graphs or data visualizations. And I have them basically vote on which ones we do because there's usually not enough time to cover all of them. So I let them pick and choose to make sure we do the ones that they are most interested in. So let's say they wanted to see the line chart first. Again, I click on it. And now I'm here in that line chart section, and then I walk them through the makeover step by step. Now you'll have to take my training <laughs> to see that makeover. But when I'm done with the makeover, it takes me back to the table of contents. So again, now I can click on pie chart, show them the makeover, we're done. If we have time, I can go to the clustered bar chart, repeat, show the makeover, and I'm always going back here until we're almost out of time. And then I can always say, all right, we are almost out of time, and and then I click on a special slide I've created that sort of takes me back to the end so I can finish with linear slides and I wrap up the talk that way. So that's how I use it. But again, I really want to hear from you and share some ideas for how you think you could use this in your 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 courses, your guest lectures, your conference presentations, your training workshops, you know, share some ideas. And if you end up using non-linear slides as a result of this video, come back and report how it went. All right, well, that does it for this video. If you are ready to get serious and start learning how to communicate more effectively when you're using slides, then enroll in my free course, Stellar Slides in Five. It is the best place for academic scientists, researchers, evaluators, and similar professionals to get started. And if you are a member of my paid course, Blast Off to Stellar Slides, then check out the community for bonus training and more tips. I'm going to talk about four situations where it makes sense to have a non-linear presentation. So be sure to check that out. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like and give it a share. That signals to YouTube that this is a good video and will help make sure that other people see it too. So let's work together so that PowerPoints are more engaging and interactive. And don't forget to subscribe and because I publish new videos every week. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for helping me end Death by PowerPoint. I'll see you next week. Bye.